It is here, everyone. Wuthering Waves is out. It released like literally half an hour ago. It like just came out. Almost, kind of. And I am stoked for it. It looks so good. The music is absolutely insane already. Let's do this. Let's jump in to Wuthering Waves. As I normally do, we are going to go with the female rover, I think it's called. Let's see what this game is all about. Bro, it looks so good. Oh my god, it looks so good. The lighting and effects of this are nuts. They're so cool. Already, it's like 10 seconds into the game. Jesus Christ. What? G oh, Jesus, okay. That's one hell of an opening. Wow, it's actually, it's actually got really good, like, animation in these cutscenes. Like, comparing to, like, Genshin, you don't really get this clean of an animation during cutscenes or talking or whatever. Pretty clean animations. Jumps. Jesus, they jump high. Pretty solid animations. Feels very nice so far. From memory, this game has a lot, like, more difficult fights from what I've seen of it so far. Like, videos of it. So we should actually have a little bit more interesting combat. I think you need less like dodging and parrying and stuff like that. It's going to be a weird learning curve now. Trying to go from Q to R for your bursts. But I reckon we'll, we'll get used to it. So far, combat is really nice. Now we have... What's her name? Yang Yang. She looks... Oh, the glowing hair. Oh, that's sick. I'm a sucker for glowing hair. It looks awesome. Like, Nouvellet in his skill, or whatever, and yeah, that looks sick. So far, it seems pretty cool. The combat, I actually do really like. That little bit more difficulty in the combat is actually really nice. Looks very cool. It has a similar sort of look to Genshin, which is expected, but it just has a slightly different look to it that I really like. Oh my god, the animations in those are so good. That's something that I wish Genshin did more, is like, put proper animations into the cutscenes like this. You know, see this, like, good animation there? Genshin just seems, seems to have sort of the same hand movements. But the animation just looks so good. It just brings more life to the cutscenes and the texts and the dialogue. Uh, that and left shift. Oh, I've got to learn this dodging stuff. I'm definitely going to need to learn to play this game properly. Because I'm already slightly struggling. The dodging aspect is gonna be an issue with me, apparently. Oh, no wonder why I wasn't dodging properly. I was pressing left shift and space, not left shift and dash. Good job, me. Do we do front flips? What? Hold up. Climb, climb up wall. We do front flips. Oh my god. And before anyone mentions it, because I know someone is going to, ignore this. Ignore my ping. I'm playing on the America server because that's just generally the better server to play. There's more people on the server. And that means that I have really bad ping. There is the first act completed by the looks of things. <gasps> is this... Oh, she's cool. I, I saw in the trailer she is cool. She was the character in the trailer that immediately stood out to me. I like these... Uh, same sort of like Star Rail. I liked more of the sort of modern -er, I guess, areas. Like in Genshin, you've sort of got sort of more of the older or traditional sort of looking areas with, you know, Liyue and Inazuma or whatever. I love Fontaine because it's just a little bit more modern-ish looking. Especially with Star Rail, it's sort of got a different style to it and I really like that style. And this game has that similar style of, you know, city. We get a new character. Oh my god. That is sick. That is so sick. I have decided already. Chissa is my main. What weapon do you use? Pistols. Wait, that means that's, that's an actual weapon type in this game? Oh, yes. This game is immediately now very high up on my full game list. That's been something I've wanted from these types of games for ages is like a pistol user or a gun user of some sort. And by the looks of things, it seems to be a legitimate class in the game. Or a category of weapon. There is double jumps, kind of. That is sick. 
We can go even higher than the already really high jumps. Yes, convenes. It's wishing time or convening time. Now, I'm pretty sure this is going to be guaranteed to be I am her. Let's see. We get a four star. What do these animations look like? Pretty solid animations. We get a weapon. Dauntless Ever Knight. Okay. Another 10 pull or 8 pull, I guess. Another 4 star. This wishing animation does look really cool. Mortify. Okay. Cool. He seems kind of cool. Yes, this is what it was. There is no 33, 33, 33s like in Genshin with weapon banner. It is guaranteed to be the limited 5 star weapon. Character banner is the same as Genshin. Weapon banner is guaranteed to be the weapon you want. That is insane. And then this, you get to pick a weapon. Oh, now that we're here, let's look at... This is our weapon categories. So we have a, a rectifier, whatever that is. Gauntlets, pistols, broad blade, and sword. So I'm assuming this is like what Baija... Baija? I think, yeah, Baija had, which is like catalyst, basically. We got pistols, which is I think is similar to bows. In, I'm comparing this to Genshin because it's easy for my brain to work. Then obviously we've got great swords, swords and gauntlets. I'm assuming is going to be like punching, I'm imagining. Oh, yes. Finally, I was waiting to unlock this. Now we have the events. So we get some pools. Then we have the trials. So I'll do that. We Oh, we're at union level five. Awesome. We get five more standard pools. Hey, you know what that means? Another 10 pool. Five star? No, four star. Okay. Are we going to get anything cool? We get a sword that I think that is. Okay, is that a sword? Is this a great sword? No, great sword. A broad sword. I think it's a sword. We do see a four star, however. It is another Yang Yang constellation. Not constellation. What are they called? Wave band. Wave, wave band? Wave band. Okay. Boom. Now we can buy one more of these. Which I think is... Yeah, that's all we can buy for the time being. But that's fine because that gives us eight pulls here. Which means we can do another pull. Five star? No, another four star. Let's get someone I want. I would happily take another... Not that. Now, I don't think I'm going to pull for Jayun, Jayun, yeah, him, because I want to save for the next character because she looks awesome. Supply is the lifeblood of our army, and I am tasked with keeping it flowing, but now we are facing a shortage. Whoever does the voice acting for this uh, camp officer did a good job. It suits him very, very well. So these are like artifacts. You've got five artifacts. If you get all five of them, you get a, a full set. And this one gives you some extra stuff. Okay. I understand a little bit more now. I see. Let's check somewhere else. They're actually giving the main character voice dialogue lines. I mean, like so far, the main character, Rover, has had like double the amount of voiced lines that tr the Traveler has in the entirety of Genshin versus like uh, two hours of this game. Oh, it's a cat. Aww. Jesus. Um, this dude, he's cool. From the moment you opened your eyes, everyone you've met, including that girl you care so much about, they all knew how valuable you are. Another character where the voice actor absolutely killed it. Her voice actor, Scar, did a good job. Sounds exactly how I'd imagine him to sound. I'm assuming, just by looking at Scar's outfits, that he's going to be playable. And if he is, I'm definitely pulling. Okay, now we're fighting Scar. Okay, put my hands on the right keys. I just dodged perfectly. I actually got some dodges in there. That's... That's good. We're actually, we're slowly learning. It was slowly getting better. My fingers keep coming off the keys though, which is annoying. I don't know why. They just tend to slip around and not do correct things. Ooh. Who's she? She looks cool. She looks so cool. Oh my God. When's she coming out? 
This is a great way to fall. I cannot stop the lament. You cannot stop Shao. I'm sorry, I cannot I cannot hear lament without thinking of Shao. There's Act 3 completed. What is there more than three acts? Apparently so. Act 4. Which we need to reach Union level 14. So do daily quest first. Track that. Then we will see what we can do. Claim all them. See what we can do with our whatever it's called. Our resin equivalent. So this is where we go to give our equivalent of oculi. So let's go to the side quest. Because generally side quests aren't as long. Let's go do a bunch of runs of this. I'll do like two runs in here I'd say. My game has died. Hold up. Okay so Wuthering Wave just had a mental breakdown. But it's fine. It's back and working correctly. Okay, there we go. That's all the runs we can do there. That did increase us up to Union level 11. Which means we... Oh, we can ascend characters now because we got to Union level 10. Oh, yeah. We get a free bundle because we reached Union level 10. We'll level Chisha all the way up, though, to 40. Let's get this main team then all ascended up. One thing I've noticed from playing this game that I really like is look at the lighting here. Like, it's actually... It's sort of something that Genshin... I don't really notice a whole lot in Genshin. But, like, there's actually like difference in the lighting and everything. And it makes it look like... I don't know how, how to put it, but it looks better, I guess. There's more of a contrast, I guess, between the lighting and stuff like that. Particularly when you have these close-up shots like that with just the face you really notice it and it looks very good he uses the gauntlets ah is that that's punching stuff isn't it yeah jesus yeah so the gauntlets are like punching that's cool we are now in a 2d game this is cool didn't expect a, like a 2d game but it looks cool i really like ling yang's character like he's a really cool character his design's really cool and everything one of the things i like the most is in these cutscenes. every now and then uh, his ears will twitch and it just adds it's just like adds so much personality i guess i don't know it just looks really cool instead of him just standing there just still his like ears will twitch every now and then oh my god they're they're level 100 enemies no we are we are not no we're not doing that we are not dealing with that right now nope nah -uh. leaving there very very quickly Look at those ears, little, little boop of the ears. Just adds so much more character and personality to him. This has to be one of the best time manipulate, time, I guess that works. Time manipulation ways in a gotcha game. The one in Genshin is, it's okay, but it takes too long. This one's quick, simple to use. Actually, it's very simple to use. It's got a really good uh, way of use. So it really flows smoothly. Yay, I was looking forward to this cutscene of the Lion Dance show. That was a very cool cutscene. He definitely is on par with Gumming in terms of his Lion Dance performance. There we go. There is Ling Yang's story completed. I actually really enjoyed that. That was really good. Let's go unlock that. Let's go let's go to this one first. Because I feel like doing some of the the book thing. This stuff. Is going to be pretty useful to us because it does give us a good amount of union xp there is this nexus unlocked that should give us a pretty i don't think it's going to give us a massive amount of the map just from looking at where the other one is but it could oh no it actually gave us more of a map than what i thought okay well we want to head probably there and then out over here and there we go. There is the Nexus thing we wanted unlocked. That should unlock a pretty large chunk of this side of the map. Or almost all of it, I think. Yep, all of this. Wow, that's a big chunk of map. Okay, cool. Now, that gives us one of these. Now, we need to upgrade a weapon to level 30 and then do a boss. You know what? Since... She is our main. We're going to go all the way up to 40. Now, is that going to be... That is another one of them done. And now it's just complete a boss challenge. 
and that's going to be our easiest boss challenge, so we'll head over there. And by easiest, I mean it's the closest one. Oh, we are at Union rank 13, that's good. Now, this is going to be the first boss we fight, so who knows how this is going to go. Hopefully pretty well, but we'll see. Okay, so I just took a really quick break then, and turns out I forgot, but it passed the time that dailies reset, so now we have new thing of that, and we have new daily commission stuff. First though, we gotta do this. Why'd you do that? We gotta do this boss. Oh, I'm stupid. I only, I just realized this. Apparently just then. The dodging is not actually, you don't need to press shift and the dash key at the same time. It's either shift or the dash key, cause shift does the same as the dash, as the um, left mouse button. They're both dash. I am stupid. Good job, me. So now I've just got to watch his attacks, memorize the attacks, and then just dash when they're about to attack, rather than having to, like, try to, you know, press two buttons at the same time, which I just can't do. That was pretty easy. This which means we can claim the stage two rewards and we have already three of the stage three rewards. And I'll have a look at those later. We'll go do this first. Claim all that, 2000 of the points, that's certainly enough. Now we get into the last, I think last, yes, yeah, the last phase of, the last act of the Archon Quest, not Archon Quest main quest i don't know what it's called i love the expressions in this game like they're, they're even this is a very small expression but like it's it's so expressive is probably the best way i can put it but it just works they're just really small but they just always have a different expression that just suits what's going on i know i've mentioned that like so much that i love the expressions whatever about every single cuts every single dialogue i've mentioned that but it's one thing that Genshin doesn't really do that this game definitely does quite well is lots of expressions. We're at level 15, which means, Jesus, we unlock a lot of stuff. Okay. Um, let's have a look at this. So, first we have Event, I think. That's the Trials. This is Tower of Adversity to get this dude. And then this is an event, I'm assuming, and that's Union level 17. Also, we have more pools, so claim them. And that means we can do another 10 pool. Are we going to see the awesome lag? Is this going to be? Oh, it's a five star. Who's our first five star going to be? Please be someone that I want. Today. Okay, solid. She's a decent four star. Here's our five star. All oh, this animation looks cool. This flower is for you. I oh yes. Happy. I genuinely did. Gen I did want her. She looks really cute. Awesome. That's actually a really solid pull. I'm stoked with that. Which means now we have the five star selector for who you want next. What does Verena do? Okay, so she definitely does damage. I don't know, it seems to be like every gotcha game has a puzzle that involves solving a puzzle and water going down. Although most of those puzzles that involve having to reduce the amount of water or whatever, they're all pretty easy. <gasps> it's Scar. Scar is cool. Are we doing boss fight with Scar? Okay, yeah, boss fight with Scar. Again. Where the hell are you? Hello? There. Yeah, now I've got the dodging down. Now I don't need to press, like, three buttons. I just need to press one button just at the right time. Whoa. Scar is going crazy. Scar's gone crazy. He is now... What the hell is that? I've got to actually watch what he does now to get my... Dodging down. There we go. He is down though for the second time. Or third time technically if you count the first fight. 
Whoa. That was a really cool fight. Oh my god. I'm definitely still getting the hang of the dodging and stuff, but... Ooh, so there's some interesting story there. How Rover could be significantly older than what we think. She reminds me of the... What's her name character from... The Akashic Record Magic Teacher anime thing. I can't remember the name of the whole name of it right now. That, I did, I've watched that recently. And she reminds me of, what's her name from that? This person. It's the first thing I thought of when I saw her. Damn. That ending has built up for the next stories to be very interesting. There is the last act completed. But I'm, just from that ending there, it sounds like the next update stories, quests, that is going to be really cool. At, wait, there's more already? I thought that was the only bit that was unlocked at the moment. Okay, apparently there's more than I thought. I think like that was sort of an ending point, and then we're going into another thing. I'm not really sure. Whatever the case is, I'm not going to be doing that at the moment, because I've already put, like... Four or so hours into this video already and I've got to edit it all in one day. However, I'd say that's a pretty good point to end it off. And I can say now, after playing that first story, this game is awesome. And because I like this game so much, I'm definitely going to be playing it more often. And there will most likely, probably, be a challenge account coming out soon. And by soon, I mean, depending on how long it takes. Possibly even the next video that comes out in this channel. Because honestly, I'd be down to do a challenge account right now. Because I'm really liking this game so far. If the developers keep up to date with it. And you know, keep the game running. Keep good updates. And do all that stuff. This game definitely has a high potential to be a massive game. I will definitely be playing it. For a good while. Because I really enjoy it. Okay, so I think with that being said. This is where I'm going to leave it off. So yeah, with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed. If you like sort of content, do consider subscribing. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. And good. Bye.